Welcome to the Recoma tutorial series. Throughout this series, I'm going to walk you through topics such as installation, usage, algorithms, and the development of the Recoma package. In this first tutorial, I'll introduce you to the broader conceptual parts of Recoma and demonstrate how it can be useful for you. These scripts allow you to harness the power of the fluid corpus manipulation or Flucoma tools to process and manipulate audio files inside of your Reaper project. These tools are designed to help techno-fluent computer composers, creative coders, and digital artists navigate and explore large banks of sound corpora using cutting-edge DSP and machine learning technology. As we go through the tutorials, I encourage you to visit several resources to enrich your understanding of the Flucoma ecosystem. Discourse.flucoma.org hosts an online community and forum where users can discuss their experiences using the Flucoma tools. Learn.flucoma.org points towards a rich knowledge exchange platform that provides a more in-depth review with demonstrations of algorithms and processes unique to the toolbox. Before we go any further, it's important to flesh out some fundamental concepts that underpin the organization and categorization of Flucoma tools. There are three families of processes that each bring a different perspective on dealing with sound and how you might want to manipulate it. Slices are made when we divide a signal up in time, creating chunks or segments of the original source audio. This is a useful process for automating procedures where you need to cut audio into smaller sections. It can also be a way of creatively deconstructing your audio in time to be reassembled later or processed in more specific and detailed ways. For example, this drum loop can be segmented into new media items using an amplitude-based slicer that has both an on and off threshold. This segments the source audio and mutes the segments where the amplitude of the signal stays below the off threshold. Here I'm prompted to select which rear chroma script I'd like to choose. By selecting the fluid amp gate script, I'm going to process all the selected media items in the arrangement view with the corresponding algorithm. Once we execute the script, a list of parameters will pop up, which we can change, but I'm just going to use the settings that I set earlier. As you can see in here, the source media item has been cut into new segments and the segments that fall below the off threshold have been muted. This is an example of just one of the slicing algorithms available in the Flucoma toolbox. Other algorithms include a novelty slicer, a transient slicer, a spectral onset slicer, and another amplitude based slicer. Each slicing algorithm is uniquely powerful in its own way and will be useful for segmenting different kinds of sound. In future tutorials, we'll take a more in-depth approach and look at each of these algorithms in detail. We can think of sounds as several components that are mixed together in complex ways. Flucoma provides some select strategies for unmixing these complex combinations so that you can extract the parts that you want. For example, sounds might be modelled in terms of harmonic, percussive, sinusoidal or transient components that are blended together to form the whole. You can think of the layer tools as trying to take the colour green and give you back the yellow and blue colours in isolation from each other. Using the same drum loop from the previous example, we can separate it into harmonic and percussive components using the HPSS or Harmonic Percussive Source Separation Algorithm. This will append two new takes to our original source media item. The first appended take will only contain the harmonic extraction and the second appended take will contain the percussive extraction. Other Flucoma layers algorithms include a sinusoidal model that can resynthesize the source audio through the sum of sine waves and a transient model that can emphasize or tame clicks, pops and crackles. Again, we'll look more thoroughly at these in future tutorials. 
objects processes are more speculative and exploratory, allowing you to create new material by deconstructing existing audio. This can involve separating sounds into user-imagined or machine-discovered components, giving rise to unexpected and unanticipated artifacts. The NMF, or non-negative matrix factorization process, allows you to separate a signal into a number of components set by the user. Unlike something such as HPSS, however, NMF doesn't come with a set of preconceptions about how the signal is made up. It operates on the premise of creating as much distinction as possible between the components it produces. This can be useful for unmixing distinct components or for producing novel artifacts from the process itself. Putting the NMF algorithm into practice, I'm going to use it to decompose this modular synthesis recording into two components. What we'll receive back is a multi-channel take where each component sits in its own channel. We can then explode this take out to separate tracks using a native Reaper action. This will give us a way of isolating the components from each other after the fact. It's obvious that there are two distinct musical elements that make up this sound, the low wandering bass and the articulate and delicate clicks. When we are prompted by the parameters box, I'm going to specify that I want the NMF algorithm to give us back two components. I'll leave the other settings at their defaults. This is all we really need to specify for the NMF algorithm, and it will hopefully pick up on the highly differentiated material and separate it for us. It's not a guarantee that this kind of process will work every time, but often this is where the decomposition process can become divergent and rich. You can see the output of the NMF process is returned as a new multi-channel take appended to the original source media item. Each channel is a component, and I want to separate these from each other, so I'll use one of the explode actions that Reaper provides to put each channel on its own track. All Flucoma processes that decompose audio into components create null summing outputs. This means that they can always be summed together to recreate the source audio. When both components were playing simultaneously at the end, they were summing to create the original modular synthesis line. NMF is currently the only algorithm in the objects family of processes, but it is incredibly versatile, especially when you start combining its functionality with the other scripts and algorithms. I hope this gives you an insight into Recoma, how it works, and entices you to tune in for the rest of the series. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Flucoma tools and how to get up and running with them.